Welcome back to Tuesday Totals. This is every sale that I made in the week leading up to December 15th, 2020 on eBay and Discogs and anywhere else online where money might come into me for sales. Let's get going. Sold two of these eyeshadow palettes from the uh, clearance makeup stuff that I bought. Listen, I bought these for 99 cents a piece on clearance. They sold for $1.69 each plus shipping. The key here is this is the stuff that I have left over after I made pretty good money on the other stuff that I sold that I bought at the same time. These just weren't moving. I had to lower them to a price where they started moving, $1.69. You know what? After fees with PayPal and eBay and what have you, I make about 18 cents on each one. It's not really worth it. I mean, an 18% return on your money, I guess it's not so bad, but it's too small. So at this point, I'm just clearing out the inventory and getting my money back so I can use it for something else. I'm packing and shipping stuff anyway. So happy to see these go. $1.69 each plus shipping. Same deal here with this nail polish, $1.69 plus shipping. Here we have a Tritec 180 saw blade. Uh, never used, very odd. It's the world's most versatile saw blade, it says. $5.99 plus shipping. And I've got this Commissar miniature. This is Commissar 4. It's just a body with no arms. The arms were plastic or metal and you'd attach them afterwards. This is for Warhammer 40k by Citadel. $9.99 for that one, plus shipping. Couple more Space Marines, one plastic, one metal. Blood Angels Captain, and I'm not sure what the other guy is. For Warhammer 40k by Citadel. $9.99 for those. Got a really nicely painted Mark 8 Space Marine. For Warhammer 40k by Citadel. $10.99 plus shipping. Sold this excellent Grenadier Guardian Dragon. One of my favorite of the Dragon miniatures that I've had recently. That one went for $17.99 plus shipping. And sold this fantastic Mounted Chaos Champion on War Griffin miniature. This was by Marauder Miniatures, which is like an offshoot of Citadel for Warhammer 40k. Honestly, I expected this thing to sell faster than it did. But in the end, it went for $33.99 plus shipping, which is not bad. Sold another set of Old Excursion Records backstock CDs. These went on eBay for $6.99 plus shipping. Sold the Naughty by Nature CD, self-titled. This is the uh, BMG, like, uh, CD club version. This is like, you know, get 13 CDs for a penny or whatever it was. So, uh, yeah, apparently someone wanted the BMG version. $3.99 plus shipping on that one. Got Charlie Pride's Greatest Hits on CD, $5.99 plus shipping on that one. And this is a real interesting one. This is like a weird little CD box set called Beast. I think this is uh, some electronic music. Very cool. Hospital Records, limited edition, numbered. Though I think the numbering's on the inside. $16.99 plus shipping for that one. And vinyl. Got the Impel 100 Words for Snow split 7-inch on Redwood Records. This one went for $6.99 plus shipping on Discogs. All right, this is one of those ones I don't really love getting rid of. But uh, for the price, I kind of have to. But... The simple fact that it got the price it did is also part of the reason why I want to keep it because the reason why people are willing to pay this much money for this record is because it's so awesome. This is the album Yes by Morphine, released in 1995 on Ryko Disc. If you know Morphine, you know how good this record is. If you don't know the band Morphine, uh, let me just say the singer died on stage and you've probably actually heard this song, Honey White. If not, go look it up. Maybe I'll put a link in the description below. I don't know. It's fantastic. They're fantastic. And I got $64.99 plus shipping for this record. And finally today, a record that occupies a large space in my heart. This is the Chainsaw Orchestra LP by the band 1007. 1991, Deadbeat Records. I, I love this I love this record. I love all of these songs. I'll put a link to one of the songs in the uh, description so you can hear what I'm talking about. And you know what? I'll just play some right now.
hey, not everybody's cup of tea, but you know what? I love it. And I, I put out this band's first 7-inch on my record label, and then they made a deal with this label to do this record, and that was fine. I was happy with that at the time, and I didn't have the money to do an LP. And I was blown away by this record, and I ended up doing another LP for them later. I put out many, many records and compilations with 1007 over the years, and I'm very, very close with the singer. That is why I own the original pen and ink artwork for this record. Someday I'm going to have this framed. Let me see if you can see. Can you see the, the texture of that paper? Yes. Yeah, so when I say this record is significant, uh, it is significant to me. I love it a great deal. This record should be worth, personally, I think it should be worth 100 bucks. But realistically, I'd love it if this record went for between 20 and 30 bucks. Uh, there weren't a lot of them made. This is a sealed copy, and it went for $7.99, which is honestly a good price for a, an obscure band like that that doesn't have a huge fan base. But what I like about 1007 is the small fan base it has. It loves them a lot. So that's it for the week. The total was $207.94, which was 15 transactions for 16 items. I'm happy with that. Now that we're getting closer to Christmas, I have no idea what's going to happen. In previous years, when I've been selling more collectible stuff, like a lot of miniatures, I find that I tend to get a lot of orders right after Christmas. I think people might be getting Christmas money and spending it on hobby stuff. So in the week before, who knows? So who knows what we're going to see next week, but... At this point, I'm just keeping on, keeping on with it. So thank you. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Appreciate it.